Hey guys, in this video I'm going to install four solar panels on the composite shingles roof. Customer wants to connect this to EcoFlow Delta Pro and uh, here is a step-by-step -step installation. For solar panels I'm going to use GA Solar 395 watts each panel, so total array size is going to be close to 1.6 kilowatts. On the roof we have a lot of space to install solar panels. I'm still going to push these four panels on the top right corner. Just for the future if customer wants to expand system we can easily do this. Iron Reach has few options for L foods and this is Flash Food Tour which is the uh, best in my opinion for leak protection. Panels are going to be located in one single row, so we have to install 10 flash foods to install wrecking. Also note that for top and bottom rail I'm alternating rafters to spread the load on the roof evenly. And now we can attach rails. Here is a two type of bolts to attach L foots to rails. One we can insert uh, directly to the hook and to rail. And other type is a square. For this one we have to route this from end of rail into the hook. So I would recommend first style. It makes installation a little bit faster. Here is the iron reach grounding lug for one row of panels, we just need one lug. I'm using 14 feet rails and to extend rails here is a splice kit and then we can just cut additional lengths we need for panels. After installing all rails we can mount junction box. At the bottom I drill in two quarter inch holes for condensate to drain. For wires coming from solar panels to junction box I'm using 3 quarters strain relief connector. Now we can start installing solar panels. One tip here, when I'm gonna go down for solar panels I'm removing all stuff that I don't need on the roof anymore. So in this case I don't have to do extra trips for cleanup. For panels configuration we are going to have two panels in series and uh, then we are going to have two parallels. So for the solar panel I am crimping negative wire which is going to go to uh, junction box. And uh, I crimped the wrong connector here. Another tip right here, if you cut in zip ties on the solar panels with a knife, always position your blade away from solar panel. So in this case when knife jumping it's not gonna damage solar panel protective film. 
Now I'm going to ground junction box with 12 gauge wire. Then 6 gauge wire is gonna go from uh, rails to junction box. And uh, from a uh, junction box down from the roof is gonna be 10 gauge wire. To connect all wires together, I'm just gonna cut ground bar for electrical panel and uh, connect all three wires together. Now I have two panels installed and connected in series and we have two wires coming into junction box, positive and negative. And now we can install two additional panels and connect them in series and uh, all of them is going to be parallel in a junction box. Owner planning to run wires from junction box to power station by himself. So I'm just using this cap right now. In the junction box we have two positive and two negatives, we're going to parallel strings right here. Now we can attach weatherproof cover and uh, install last panel. And uh, we have all four panels installed on the roof. Last step, I'm just going to cut excess of rails and we are done here. It took me 3 hours to complete this project and now I can clean up my truck and uh, I'm good to go. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments and as always, thank you for watching and see you later.